so here we will be going over the point of sale side. To get to this, you just double click the Sunlink icon and you sign in username POS, password POS, and it should take you to the screen. Normally, your employees need to clock in. So you just click the clock in button up at the top and hit sign in, and they put in their password. Now you're clocked in. Now you can unlock the register, so it'll be like you're the person working the register by clicking just a little unlock button down here at the bottom. Just put in your password again. And now I am the cashier at the register. To search people, you just hit the search button, type in their last name, first name, and it will search for whoever matches that criteria. And you can just pick the person that's going to be tanning. To insert a new person, you just click the insert button. And it brings you to this, where you just fill out the custom customer info. Whatever you have put in the required fields is what they're going to need to put in here. So for this database, for example, I only have required fields, first name, last name, and date of birth. So if I just put that in, process new customer, now I just inserted a new customer. If you have more required fields, they obviously need to put in more information for the customer. If you want to tan someone, you just search the person and you hit the F5 tan button. It will tan them on whatever service you have selected over here. Right now is walk-in. Whatever beds you have available for walk-in will show up for this amount of minutes. These are all ten, or these beds are all capable of going ten minutes, and in this case, they all cost ten dollars as a walk-in. So you would just hit accept. And if I hit F10 sale, well, first I would need to collect the payment type. So I would just say they're going to pay cash. Now, if I hit F10 sale, that will send the delay time back and finalize the sale and the customer would go back to room 6 and there should be time on the bed. So I'll just hit remove item to get rid of these. The product button is just where you sell your inventory items like lotion for example. You just search it, click on the one you want and it will add it to the sale queue. This is the combo actually that's coming up because I have a combo attached to this bottle of lotion. So I'm selling the bottle of lotion and they're also getting a one mystic session which is attached through a combo. So to sell a package, you just click the packages button here and it'll list all the packages you have in the system. And you can activate it now, later, or on a specific date. Just activate it right now, and if they wanted to go tanning on it, you would just hit the tan button as well. You can do them both in the same sale, and this will sell them the package and send them tanning. Once they pay for it, and we put in the payment type and finalize the sale. So I'll remove these items again and show you what the membership, to sell a membership, you just click the memberships button, and here's all the memberships. Now to sell non-EFT ones, they're pretty generic, just like packages. You just choose the one they want to buy and hit save, and it'll put it into the sales screen, and they'll just have to pay for it. To sell an EFT membership, you need to choose the draw day, or it might be filled out by default if you only have one, and you need to choose, or you need to get their billing information on file for that, either through swiping their card, or you're going to have to manually type in their billing information before it allows you to sell it. The other tan button would be how you send people to sunless beds if you have any. All your regulated equipment will show up under the tan button and all your unregulated equipment will show up under other tan. Under the miscellaneous button you can do such things such as pay on account which would be how they prepay or they just put money on their account. Courtesy tan is just how you give away a free tan if your password lets you. I'll show you real quick. You just click courtesy tan, put in your password, and you can give them a courtesy tan on any equipment or just a specific bet if you want. And you can set an expiration date or the max amount of minutes they can go on it. And it'll show up over here pretty much like a one session package almost like that. Under the miscellaneous button is also how you sell gift cards. It's also how you apply a manual discount if you want to discount something or do a refund or a void. They're all under this miscellaneous button here. The room status screen down here will show you color coded whatever your bed status is. Like rooms 3, 7, and 8 are dirty right now and 2 is in use. 
you can double click a room to either reverse a Titanic transaction, like if you send it to the wrong bed for example, you could reverse it and it will basically void out the TAN and let you send the time to the correct bed. Reset time will just reset the time. If the customer had to go to the bathroom or something and requests you to reset the time, you can just hit reset time. Or if it's dirty, for example, you can try to cycle status to available if you just tested it or something. And that should set it to available. See, now it's green, so it would be ready to go. Or you could send someone to it. Down here in the bottom left, it'll show the customer's tanning history and sales history. And this is all the active memberships and packages that this person has. They have quite a lot here, so there's a scroll bar. And the memberships tab will show every membership they have or have had. And you can activate it if it's on hold or frozen or something. Packages will show the packages they have. You can share packages with other people. You just click the share button. And you need to search the other customer who they want to share it with. And then they'll both have like the same session pool from that mem from that package. Courtesy Tan just shows their Courtesy Tan history. Comments, if you added any comments about the customer, will display here. And documents, if you send a link to do your documents, it'll show what documents they have signed. Every customer, if you click this update button here, this is where you would edit any info if you need to edit stuff about them. Usually you need a manager or owner password to edit important things, but the normal POS employee will be able to view the things in here. If you need to change their address or demographic information, you can do it here. If they need to change their EFT billing information, in, billing information, you can just change it here. Packages and memberships tab here will show you any active memberships and packages. And since I um, have an owner security template, I could insert memberships or adjust expiration dates or the amount of sessions they have. The customer history tab will just show the customer's tanning history and sales history. Account ledger will show their account ledger history, um, EFT payments, EFT rejections, prepayments, anything they put on their account ledger. Rewards ledger will just show if you do the reward system in Sunlink, it'll show when they earned points and spent the points. Comments, again, will just display any comments inserted under the customer. Documents will be document signed, and promotions will be if they have any promotions attached to their account. Okay, that should cover everything for the basic point-of-sale trainings. Thanks for joining me.